Here in this little county courthouse, once a church in Troy, New York State, Jack Diamond is about to be placed on trial. Since daybreak, this crowd has been waiting to see the leading light of New York's underworld arrived to answer charges of brutal assault and intimidation. Diamond is expected to get five years at least. And here he is, the man wearing the light soft hat and pushing his way through the crowd. You won't see his face. Gangsters don't favor the photographer. The next to arrive is Grover Parks, the lorry driver, who says that Diamond burned his feet with hot cigarette tips to try to get him to disclose the location of somebody else's liquor factory. Parks is a little man wearing a cap, and he is closely guarded by the police for fear of molestation. And here are the jurors merging after the trial. The judge refused Diamond Bell, but the jury gave him his freedom. The man in the big white hat is the public prosecutor, who has good reason to appear ruthful. He is going after Diamond again when he can find another charge. But for the moment, Diamonds are trumps. Typifying the glorified gangster hero of the late 20s. Arrested 17 times, acquitted 17 times. Suspected of every crime in the book, Legs Diamond led a charmed life temporarily. He became the target of an aroused public and rival gangsters. End of an era was in sight as Diamond is again in custody. It's ironic that peace officers had no part in terminating his career. Released from charges, Diamond was shot at Albany, New York. Rival gangsters killed him in this rooming house. A public enemy in life, his death started a reform wave that drove gangs into hiding or prison cells. This was Legs Diamond. <laughs> Tell me, did you really love Jack Diamond? Yes, I loved him dearly and interrupted my stage career because of my love for him. How did this famous gangster treat you? He treated me wonderful, kind and lovable. I wouldn't know a gunman if I saw one. Aren't you sorry you didn't take your mother's advice and keep away from Diamond? Yes, but all young girls think they know it all. Well, uh, when did you see uh, Diamond alive for the last time, Miss Roberts? About 11 p.m. on the day of his acquittal in Orphany. Uh, how did you learn that he had been murdered? When I awakened by newsboy's cries, Jack Diamond slain. Well, uh, what happened then? I fainted, and I nearly fell out of the bedroom window. Miss Roberts, uh, what advice have you for other girls who are tempted? I'd advise them to live good, clean lives and obey their parents' wishes. What are your plans for the future, Miss Roberts? To resume my stage career where it was broken and give Mother no more heartache. Well, Mother, what have you got to say? Oh, I'm the happiest woman in the world today that I have Marion back with me. I prayed night and day to have her with me for Christmas, and God has answered my prayer. 